Hi, I'm Dale Doherty, and we're live at MakerCon, and we just finished uh, having uh, Carl Bass talk to us about some of the new developments at Autodesk. And uh, I don't know, do you mind just kind of summarizing what you were talking about today? Yeah, no problem. Um, one is I just talked to you, gave an update, because last year I announced Fusion 360 right. here and what we were doing for kind of the enthusiast community. Right. So we talked about that and kind of gave an update on where we're going with that. Talked a little bit what I saw about the future of design software. And then we made two announcements, one about an open platform for um, a software platform for 3D printing, and then we announced a reference implementation right. uh, with, with, with our own 3D printer. Right. So the software platform for 3D printing is is that sort of almost middleware, probably use the wrong word, but it sits between your computer and the, and the yeah. printer. It's the processing you have to do to prepare something in G-code, you know, and you guys are kind of uh, trying to uh, improve the accessibility and uh, ease of use for that. Yeah, yeah, people probably wouldn't call it middleware, but that's exactly yeah, what yeah. it is. It, it, it's how do I take a 3D model that I have in my computer, yeah. and I get a print a right. print out, and rather than have every manufacturer reinvent this thing, right. we have the software, and so we want we want to distribute that and have as many people as possible right. use that. Yeah, and so uh, as much a surprise was that you announced a 3D printer. Yeah, I, I knew that would be the surprise. I kind of <laughs> joked at the beginning. If I talked about the 3D printer in the beginning, no one would pay attention right, to right. anything else I said. And you know, and that's true. I mean, Autodesk is a 30-year-old company. We've never produced a piece of hardware, you know, other than, you know, we've sometimes at times sold it with a computer. Right, but right. we've never produced hardware before, so this will be right. our first hardware product. Right. So this is a different kind of 3D printer, though. It's not uh, uh, a PLA or a ABS uh, printer that most right. people are familiar with. This is a, kind of a new breed. Yeah, so, so it's not a filament printer that you see at home. We think that market is pretty well served. What we were really interested in is more industrial uses. Mm -hmm. And this involves um, taking a, a liquid material and curing it with light. Right. And so you expose it to light and then it hardens. And there are there, there are printers like this on the market already, but we thought there was more room to, you know, grow. It, there was a need for more experimentation. And in particular just in 3D printing in general and very specifically with this technology, right. the thing that has to come together is this hardware software right. as well as material science. Right. And you need all three parts and so you really need a platform for experimentation right. in order and, to do this. And you talked about I mean one of the People are so excited about 3D printing, but once you get into it, some of the challenges are it takes so long sometimes yeah. to print something. Even yeah. these these sort of resin printers and other things are, you know, uh, you get a wonderful object, but you then you say, you know, as your, your example was you double it in size and you're, you're kind of... Yeah, you go from an hour to four hours by yeah, doubling in size. Yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, should you want a quadruple, it's 64 hours. Yeah. And all of a sudden now you say, I'm printing this thing for three days, and if you yeah. have one in your house, it's going... Yeah. Zzz, zzz, yeah. And if something goes wrong... <laughs> right, yeah, and, and it goes wrong or you yeah. run out of material. So, yeah. I mean, th there are a fair number of challenges. And so, you know, the way I liken it is to, like, the early days of the PC. There's right. a tremendous amount of promise, and it's going to be an important part right. of what happens in the future. Right. But right now you need real hobbyists and enthusiasts people are willing to put up with a lot of the shortcomings. Right. And so we're just trying to accelerate that process, get rid of the shortcomings, right. and, get, and get to a place where you can get to where it's really accessible to more people, right. and there's less of that frustration. Will, will you have that, uh, at least a, a demo of that product at Maker Faire, of uh, the printer? You know, we, we hadn't even thought about that. Okay. I, I, ha I have some uh, parts that we printed on it okay. walking around in my okay. backpack. Okay, great. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show those to you. Okay. Um, so Besides, I'm more excited about bringing my go-kart to... I know. Oh, actually, we should talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be racing a go-kart that you and your son have built. Yeah. And uh, uh, you designed it in 360 Fusion? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so we, so, so we, did, we, desi we designed it in Fusion. The part I'm most excited about is getting there really early Saturday morning so we can just drive in the parking lot yeah. <laughs> and just see how fast it can go. And I also understand there's a little go-kart track there. Yes, there is. So this is, this is going to be perfectly fun because so far all we've done is run it up and down Pier 9. <laughs> and uh, I think that huge parking lot before it gets yeah, filled up. Yeah. So uh, That's great. I want to see that. Let's, uh, yeah. Let me know when that happens. Okay, that I might be a lot of fun. I will let you all know. Right. Well, uh, thank you, Carl, for being at MakerCon. Thank you for uh, all that you're doing. And it's fascinating to see how Autodesk is developing new tools and, and now new hardware for, for the maker community and beyond. Great. Th thanks and, very much. Thanks yeah. for the invitation, okay. as always. All right, thanks. Okay,